He says, do the work of an evangelist. I love that. The title evangelist was an office in the early church. We only see that, that word used three times in the New Testament. And the only person we ever see identified as an evangelist is Philip. But in this passage, he's not saying be an evangelist. He says, do the work of an evangelist, which is a wonderful picture because he's not saying you have to be in an office of evangelism to be able to tell people about Jesus. No, no matter who you are as a believer, you do the work that an evangelist does. You tell people about Jesus. People listen, church, listen, brothers and sisters, listen. What our culture needs is the gospel. The, they need to hear about Jesus, who is the truth, the way, and the life, or the way, the truth, and the life. He is truth. And what we must always bring our conversations back to, no matter what they are, no matter what the issues are, it comes back to Jesus. Let me tell you about Jesus. Let me tell you about what he did. I had a wonderful privilege two weeks ago of meeting with an elderly couple in their home and sharing Christ with them and leading them to faith in Christ. I had an opportunity of leading another lady who came to my office who was looking for the answers, and I shared Christ with her. She said, that's what I've been missing, and she's given her life to Christ. I have the opportunity to be building a relationship with my neighbor and talking with him, and this past week, he says, Phil, you and I need to have a serious conversation. I want to sit down and talk with you about this. The issue are not the issues of the culture. The issue is the issue of eternity and his name. Is Jesus. Now, th that doesn't mean we don't need to understand the culture. It doesn't mean we don't need to understand social injustice. It doesn't mean we don't understand the pain of people who have suffered wrongly in our culture. We understand it. The driving factor of it is sin. But Jesus is the only one who can deliver us. I would recommend you read a book by Vody Balcom called Fault Lines. Incredible book because he deals with biblical justice from a biblical perspective that is very helpful to see what the church needs to do to bring about justice in our culture. And most of the books that you're going to read on social justice have no solution. No solution. The answer is Jesus. It always is. And he always will be.